here's the deal. Um, I have really dry, really, really sensitive skin. Like, oh my gosh, like, you know, the best skincare in the world makes my skin irritate. Like, I literally go to the dermatologist and they're like, we can't give you any of our stuff because it's gonna irritate your skin. That's how sensitive my skin is. <laughs> Um, I've had trouble with makeup my whole life, um, making me itch and um, just tons of stuff. So I have really sensitive skin and then to make matters worse, it's very, very dry. Like I don't, I don't think I could ever put enough lotion on my face. It just like, <sighs> it just constantly sucks it in. But it's funny because the rest of my skin is not as dry as my face. It's just my face. Um, so I have issues here. Um, and... And to make it even worse, I have that skin condition, it starts with a K, um, but it's where your dead skin cells don't slough themselves off. So um, most people have it on like the backs of their legs, um, They call it, it's like that rough and bumpy skin stuff, right? So like I have it a little bit on my shoulders the older I get. Um, I have a lot on my legs, but I also have it like right here and right here. So my face is just a wicked hot mess. It is. So, um, I exfoliate and um, I exfoliate, well, I used to exfoliate way more than I do now. So I'm gonna show you what I used to use, what I was using for a while, and I liked it. I didn't have any issues with it. So I was using this Suki um, foaming facial cleanser, but it's it's got sugar beads in it and it smells like heaven. I'm not gonna lie. It smells, you can't smell it. <laughs> but it smells like heaven. It's like a tropical island. Oh, it smells delicious. Um, but anyway, so I used to use this. I would use it in the shower. Just kind of scrub it around. I used to use this a few times a week. Um, and I get I get very addicted to products I use. So I like this. It didn't irritate my skin. Um, I felt like it was doing an okay job exfoliating. I still had a lot of issues like on my nose and my chin. But the rest of the area, it was doing an okay job. Um, and so in September, which... I got early access to it, but in September, Unique launched their exfoliating um, mask. Now, you all know, like, I'm very judgy. <laughs> I'm very skeptical and I'm very judgy, and I'm very, I'm a creature of habit. I liked this, and I did not want to change, because that, well, mainly, I think mainly because it smells so good. Um, but I did not want to change, right? I still have a little left, like, I'm going to finish using it, but, so... I will say, I finally, well, I did this one other time and I was amazed, but I was like, it's a fluke. So I hadn't picked it up since. I was just like trying to use up my old one before I like make the switch, right? So I used this again on either Saturday or Sunday and my skin, the next day, my nose, my chin, flake free, the smoothest, the crazy smoothest, smoothest, smoothest skin I've ever felt. So I'm gonna show you how I use this because it's a little different. It's not something, you, I mean, you could, I guess, use it in the shower. You do have to let it sit um, for a hot second. So I like to put a little water on my face. This is like a rougher, I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of a rougher mask. So I like to just put a thin coat. I don't know, for like, I wanna say friction. <laughs> but I like to put a thin coat of water. So I'm just gonna take some of this mask out. It's kind of weird. It feels, um, like it's like pliable. I don't know. You know what I think it kind of feels like? Do you guys remember that, um, I don't know how to, hey Sarah, I don't know how to describe it. Um, um, it was like Nickelodeon made it. Is that weird foamy sand stuff? <laughs> That's what this feels like in my hands to me. <laughs> anyway, so I put a little bit of water on. And now I'm just going to spread and rub this in. So you're supposed to rub it in for a minute. And this is a little bit of a um, stronger scrub, so the, the scrubbies in it are a little uh, stronger than I'm used to, but you know what? After how amazing it makes my skin feel, like it's worth it. So I'm not, I'm really not like pressing uber hard into my skin. Um, I'm just making sure I go over my problem spots. I don't know how long I've been doing this. I'm very bad at like telling time if I don't have 
a timer in front of me. But so I'm just rubbing it in. So you're just using the little exfoliating scrubbies that are in the mask. Doo, 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 doo. And then you let it sit. So you let it sit for about five minutes because it works other wonders and just makes your skin gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to sit here for five minutes with you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but I will say I am crazy impressed with this mask. Um, I didn't expect to be. I actually really just want to hate everything. <laughs> I want to be a negative Nelly. I want to hate things that are new and different to my my routine because my routine is my routine. Um, if you've ever lived with me, you know my routine is my routine. If you're a good friend of mine, you know my routine is my routine. I have a very hard time giving up products I like um, and trying something new. I have a very hard time trying new foods. Like I just don't do it. Even even if it's by a company I love. Like this actually took me. I had it from the start of August and I don't think I tried it till either the end of August or the very start of September. That's how much I wanted to despise it in my mind and I convinced myself it wasn't going to do any better than what I already used. So again, what I used to use and what I'm still getting rid of and it smells really good but it's besides the point. <laughs> what I used to use is this Suki sugar scrub. Um, but it, it now that I have it as a comparison, it doesn't even come close. It does not even come close. So if you have dry, sensitive skin like me, oh my gosh, give this baby a try. Give this baby a try. You will like cry tears of joy. I cry tears of joy. I use it once to twice a week now. Um, well, that's my plan, I guess, because I just, this is my second time using it this week, and this is like the start of me deciding I'm going to switch over to it, even though I know it's good. Um, so my plan is to use it once or twice a week and then use my detoxifying mask once or twice a week to keep my zitty zits away. But that's it. That's all I want to talk to you guys about. I have a really hard time changing, especially skincare routines, because I'm very nervous with my skincare because my skin likes to freak out to everything. Lotions face wash, makeup, the air I breathe, everything. <laughs> it likes to freak out to everything. So that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to let this mask sit for a few more minutes before I rinse it off, and then I will take it off, put some time correcting night cream on, and then get my sleep on because I'm an old lady. Yeah, yeah. Have a good night, everybody.